Well, even the University of Iowa students are weighing in tonight on the soon to the loss of Caitlin Clark as she, this is a mere last season, unfortunately, in Iowa City heading to the pros. So we went to the campus of the university today to hear some of the thoughts from students and KWW reporter David Warrington live for us tonight in Iowa City. Talk to talk about, David, a little bit how students are feeling about the decision that Caitlin has made to enter the pro draft. Well, Ron, students are, of course, disappointed to see Caitlin Clark leave the University of Iowa, but they also express an appreciation for her time spent here, and they also wish her the very best as she takes this next step to the WNBA. Now, after coming to the University of Iowa in 2020, Caitlin Clark will leave as the all-time leading scorer in Division I women's basketball history. And as soon as this Sunday, as Rick mentioned, she could become the all-time leading scorer among both men and women. It has also brought unprecedented attention to the Iowa's women's basketball program. Earlier today, we spoke with University of Iowa students about that increased attention to the university. I think it's like really interesting that like as like a Big Ten school, you're typically talked about, but not in this like manner. And especially having someone like that big, she's bringing in like a lot of celebrity level people too, which is really awesome for our school. Now, students also talked about the excitement of following the women's basketball team this year as Clark and the rest of the team have reached unprecedented levels of success after a national championship appearance last season. And coming up tonight at 6, I'll have more reaction from students here at the University of Iowa as Caitlin Clark gets set to take the next step to the WNBA. Live in Iowa City, David Warrington, News 7, KW. Yeah, David, thanks to the report tonight from Iowa City and on campus. You know, of course, the Indiana Fever will have the number one selection in the draft, which is coming up on April 15th. Caitlin Clark, of course, the heavy favorite to be the number one overall selection. She certainly won all the national individual honors this year and will probably get the highest contract ever awarded to a first-year player in the WNBA. We'll see where all of this plays out.